It has been an incredibly eventful summer for the Medal of Honor Society, which has made its home right here in the Low Country. Joining us is our good friend, Medal of Honor recipient, Major General James Livingston. It's good to see you again. Good afternoon. All right. So uh, you've had a very busy summer. I had the absolute honor and pleasure of being able to MC the event that you held just uh, several weeks ago, uh, saluting members of our society yeah. um, with uh, medals of honor for their service in yeah. the community, which mm. I think when you see the, the spectrum of, of their commitment to the community, the yeah. ages of yeah. the various recipients, mm. some as young as 11 years old, yeah. it makes you think twice about, you know, what am I contributing to this society? Well, I tell you what, it was a great ceremony, and you did a great job in MC, and thank you very much. Well, thank and you. everyone was very complimentary. <laughs> but I tell you, it's such a wonderful test a testimonial yeah. to people's commitment, mm -hmm. and particularly to the young kids and uh, some of the older folks yeah. and what they do for the country. And, you know, we're always sort of down on America, and I'll tell you, you go to a ceremony like that, and it's just sort of uplifted. Completely. It's, it makes you remember that there's actually something to uh, be, be happy about. Yeah, and you remarkable know, in the world people. Of, yeah. That's right. I mean, these people are all remarkable, just yeah. special Americans. Definitely. And they made such a special contribution. And I'm just proud to see that particular ceremony put on here in Charleston. Certainly. Yeah. And, and the Medal of Honor Society yeah. being relocated to the local. Yeah, country. the Medal of Honor Society is located here, as you probably well know, in New Yorktown, in the Medal of Honor Museum, the small one. We're trying to build a larger one off the ship. Certainly. But, you know, the people got to remember the real Medal of Honor museum yeah. is located here as designated by Congress in 1999. Yeah. The official one is in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. The official one. I like that. The official <laughs> one, indeed. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for people to revisit, remind themselves of the reverence that they should have yeah. mm -hmm. for the men and women who have worn the uniform, who've sacrificed themselves, the families who have made those sacrifices, uh, somewhat, some ultimately paying the yeah. price, but but others who are still here with us. Yeah. Um, and what that stands for. Well, you know, remember we only have 66 left. That's right. We have at least lost our last World War II recipient, Woody Williams. We only have two from Korea left. We're trying to do a very similar ceremonial process in planning for the end in uh, Medal of Honor recipients associated with Korea. There's only a few uh, Vietnam guys left, and they're the older part of yeah. the group. You know, they're, the average age is about 80 years old. Yes. But the big thing is, you know, we have to sort of document and portray in such a manner that young people understand that. Yeah. And we have to come up with a mechanism to get that message out. And one of the mechanisms you saw in this uh, program you were part of, the other one is our character development program, which we're trying to get in all schools. And I would ask everyone in the audience, South Carolina has not done a very good job mm -hmm. in adopting the character development program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every school needs to step up to the plate, and it's a free program. Mm -hmm. We'll provide all the materials. We'll provide the instructors to come in and train the teachers. So it is something that needs to be uh, adopted by every school. Definitely, and we'll yeah. keep track of that yes. as it starts to gain traction. Of course, also the Jimmy Dias uh, honor that was recently held uh, on know, Sullivan's Island, so. You know, Jimmy Dias, uh, people need to understand what a special man he was. Mm -hmm. He is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. He was killed at Roy Namore. He was a lieutenant colonel, and he was from Augusta, Georgia, and, uh, but to think about him, uh, he became a recipient of the Medal of Honor based on that action That's at Roy right. Namore. Posthumously. But, yeah, posthumously. And also he uh, received the Carnegie Medal yep. based on an action of saving the lives of two women out at Sullivan Island. That's right. And he's a Eagle Scout. He's one of a kind. Yeah. And let me tell everyone, it was a wonderful ceremony. Had his daughter here, who was about 83, 84 years old, had her husband, uh, different family members. But go out and see that memorial and go down Middle Street, it's uh, Sullivan's Island, just take a ride, go down to the 18 and, uh, 18 and a half marker, yep. and it's right off next to the beach. And wonderful. it is a wonderful tribute to him. Yeah. And what we want to do is encourage people to go and have an annual ceremony there yeah. in his memory. That's wonderful. Major General, and of course, as always, thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. And thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, God bless you, and like I say, uh, Let's continue to be great Americans. Indeed. God bless yeah. you as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very kindly. We're back after this.